Hey folks, it's Natasha with the Santa Swatch. Time for the weekly update. More than 200 new Florida laws just took effect after one of the worst legislative sessions in recent memory. Remember, state laws are important. State laws decide whether our local public schools have the books and supplies they need, whether we protect the air and water so we can actually live, to whether or not we are free to decide what health care is best for us not a politician. Because there were so many new laws, and they do this every year, we're highlighting a few today. Taxpayer giveaway to unaccountable corporate schools law. This law routes billions of taxpayer dollars away from our local public schools towards a massive handout for the rich to fund corporate, private, and voucher schools. These voucher schools don't get the same oversight as public schools and may discriminate against Floridians based on religion, disability status, gender identity, sexual orientation, and more because, you guessed it, state laws don't fix that. Government in the shadows law. This exemption to the state sunshine laws allows top officials like Governor DeSantis to hide all records relating to his taxpayer-funded travel from the public, even retroactively, and includes hiding the names of those with him. It hides visitor logs from the governor's mansion, making it harder to understand who is trying to influence laws in his taxpayer-funded home. Anti-renters' rights law removes local housing protections that have been passed by counties and cities throughout Florida, preempts all local protections for renters to the state, including tenants' bill of rights ordinances, regulation of rent increases or lease terminations, caps on security deposits, and more disregarding the will of local communities. Attacks on public workers and their unions law. This law targets public workers and their unions for being critical of Governor DeSantis, like teachers' unions. Hmm, wonder why. Among other union-busting tactics, the bill prevents union fees from being deducted from paychecks and serves as political payback that will harm workers and their ability to fight for better wages and safer workplaces. Perpetual predatory fee on renters law, written by out-of-state lobbyists and passed during an affordable housing crisis, this law attacks tenants by allowing landlords to charge a perpetual, non-refundable, limitless fee in lieu of a security deposit with no benefit to the renter in the end. If you're wanting to hold the governor accountable for these laws that he just signed, follow us at DeSantisWatch.org.